Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com, your boy is back and I done did it again. Yeah, we here live, man. We here about to talk about the guidelines for building software that will make people hate you. A practical approach to building bad software. All right. Now, let's start it up. Make it slow. Yeah. All right. Make sure that you have images the size of 15 megapixels. You know, <laughs> 15 megabytes of, of images. If like, hey, your images is going to take a minute to load and there's 20 of them. Yay. Right? No optimization, no tiny PNG, no nothing. Just let's make it slow. Right? Now, another one is, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's impossible. Now, this is 50-50. Because people, I'll tell you like uh, a couple of examples. Like I've been in companies where people will come in and be like, hey, we want to create something that I saw on the new iPhone app. And you're like, wait, that's on software. This is web development. So you want to create something that's completely not impossible, but we don't have the manpower or the time to create those things. So sometimes you have to say, hey, man, that's impossible here. But if somebody comes up to you and be like, hey, can we put a hamburger menu when the page resizes below uh, 600 pixels? And you'd be like, nah, I think that's impossible. Or you tell them, hey, it's someone else's job. Go tell that to the designer. Go tell that to the front end guy. And you know you could do it. That's definitely going to make people hate you for sure. Um Another one is uptime is not important. You know, sometimes people will be like, hey, man, you know, we're going to create this, this cron job is going to bring down the website every day at 3 p.m., right? But, you know, it's going to bring it down for only 20 minutes, prime time of like business hours. And, and it's like, yeah, it's only going to take it down for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's all right. We won't lose that much. You know, that would definitely make people hate you. Uh, let me see all on board with the hype train, right? Somebody comes in and be like, man, I just saw, uh, you know, uh, the best of the best framework online. And it's like, we've been working in Angular, we've been working in React, but hey, let's just jump on, you know, the Harry Potter framework. You know, View 3 came out. Can we just jump on that? The same day it just came out. I've seen people do stuff like this. Like, what would happen if we update everything? What would happen if we just update everything? And then six months later, you realize it's like, oh, yeah, we shouldn't have done that. Because nothing got tested and there was a whole bunch of errors and we just kept killing bugs with a software or a framework that we should have never used. We should have used something more safe, something that has been tested. And then later on, you might, in smaller features, you might add something new, but not for the whole website, kids. That will definitely make people hate you. Let me see. Make it completely synchronous. Synchronous. You know what that means, man? That means it's like, yo, you have to come in, do one, one thing at a time, right? And it's like, hey, you know... <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious, man. This is, all of these things here remind me so much of like things were done in the company I was in. Like, and that's why I was like, I, the last little bit of hair that I had, I was just like pulling it. I was, I had no, no more hair left. I'm pulling the things from the back. I'm just like, I can't take this. <laughs> you know, people want to create stuff that like synchronous. Like I created this, uh, the, this trial tool where pretty much everything is a synchronous. Meaning like things gets loaded one time and then everything filters out. People really wanted to put a loading bar in between things, in between views, when you don't need a, a loading bar no more because it's no longer doing it synchronously. Before it was like every time you click a page, you have to load the whole page again. I basically created something from scratch that saved all that time and the user could get everything instantly. This old heads is like, Nah, man, we have to come in and, and put a loading bar. Bro, <laughs> users hate that. Users hate having to wait. Just because you still your mind is still old, users hate seeing something that takes longer than what it needs to take. 
especially now because everything is like this you know what i mean so make it completely synchronous so so your users can hate you definitely uh pretend your software is so simple everyone would get it this happens a lot to developers when you know you're a developer and you'll be like man this is so simple all they have to do is drag and drop and then you never tell nobody that to upload something you have to drag it to the screen there's no message under it there's nothing that that shows them like hey drag there's no icon there's no nothing it's just like a button there's like a square not even a, bu a button a square right with a folder like people are supposed to know what the hell to do with that i've seen that done where it's like bro put a message put a warning put a, a little gray message saying like hey drag a file to upload and drop it here some people don't even know that and they'll be like don't worry my the users they're smart enough it's like no they're not trust me uh validating forms is not necessary you don't have to validate forms people are smart enough they listen they'll on the email they you don't even have to tell them and make sure that it says dot com or dot net or or dot something people are used to that they're not gonna go in and put in johnny smith without no location to their email they're not gonna do that right i've seen that done before too uh let me see your opinion is the only one that matters never say never ask your, <laughs> ask your users about what they think you're god's gift to earth and know how to do a hello world your opinion is all you need <laughs> that's true there's people like that they come in they have an opinion they're like listen this is how we gotta do things and and even though you're explaining to them why you should do it a different way they're like no nah, there's definitely this is the way to do it you know it's like i've been doing this for 15 years and this is the way to do it what the hell are you talking about bro <laughs> like you gotta listen to other people you know okay there's another one the more confusing the better make sure none of your form inputs have placeholder <laughs> that you make dubious which feel mean means what later on you can be very professional talk to your friends about how dumb your users are and laugh about it <laughs> word people don't even put you know they put placeholders on, on forms and in some places they don't even put a placeholder they don't even tell the user like hey this is supposed to be your email here they just put an input text field that's it and he's just like okay cool now blame it on, on the user do you want it come take it never help your users remember anything important instead let them check the platform every five minutes email text messages or mobile push notifications are for lazy people <laughs> that was a good one use words other than people don't understand pretend you're a lawyer and, uh, and add jargons that don't mean <laughs> or matter something some tips are a synchronous request through a proxy box uh, a proxy browser crypto <laughs> cryptography salt like you know people you know i've seen this done so many times where developers do this all the time man this is you know there's some things here that are part of uh you know the usually upper management that do that do certain dumb decisions but also to developers do stuff like this man where they come in and they'll be like yo it's like hey uh you know start throwing big words to people that you know people are not uh you know technology savvy or they have no tech degree they have no no history in this and then you start throwing big words and then those people is like they get you know they spin them around so much with big words that they like oh yeah sure whatever you want johnny go ahead do whatever you want because <laughs> All they do is just give them big words and act like they smart and it's like bro you could have just said hey we just gonna basically when this button gets clicked it's gonna wait for a second come back send them the data and that's it somebody comes in and starts talking to asynchronously uh, this this and that and you're like wait what keep it simple stupid <laughs> okay ignore all, all all affordances do whatever you feel like with the interface for instance you could get a you you could use a floppy disk icon for deleting a record <laughs> and a star icon for log out <laughs> yeah people do this too like there's no references like you know they they come in and and be like hey you know what 
instead of us using the you know the pencil icon for saying something like let's edit it or do something let's make that uh, a delete button for no reason like as if the user has seen that pencil button used anywhere else besides for editing and now you you basically put it to delete it make sure everybody's gonna hate you after that all right um let me see add unnecessary loading screens man this is what i've been telling people <laughs> This is what I was telling you my old job, man. Like, these people don't get it. I was like, yo, bro, don't add unnecessary loading screens. You don't need this. People don't need that. People actually hate that. They hate seeing something loading if there's nothing to load. The data is already there. Why are you putting a loading screen to act as if, like, hey, guys, something is happening behind the scenes. No, it already happened, like, five pages ago. The data is already there. There's no reason for you to, to show people a loading screen for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> the guy goes like, yo, this one's for you, Microsoft. Yes. They put loading screens on everything. Like, load all the data once, and that's it. Stop putting loading screens on every single... Don't need it. <laughs> okay, add your tip here. What's your tip for building uh, apps people hate? I'm waiting for your answers on the comments. I want to see what people come in. Let me see if the people put anything. <laughs> Make sure you have a pop-up that stops the user from whatever they were doing to respond to it by rating your app or give a feedback every five minutes. Only five stars are enabled, obviously. <laughs> oh, man, that's so true. Let me see. Promote the mobile app for enhanced experience, then just wrap the website. <laughs> They just wrapped the website as is, as is, uh, with reduced functionality. Yeah, exactly. Like, people do this all the time, too. They'll go, they'll be like, hey, man, put on the top of, you go to a website, right? And they put on the top, they're like, hey, go download our app. And when you download the app, the app doesn't have everything that the website has. So it's like, why would I be coming to your app and I'm losing functionality? Like, come on, man. <laughs> Okay, use lots of red notification dots. Maybe even make them blink angrily until the user attends something they couldn't give a crap on. <laughs> I've seen that done a lot of times where they start putting like little thing that flash and you're like, wait, I don't care about this notification. Why are you flashing on my screen? <laughs> There's nothing called bug. Everything is a feature. Word. <laughs> I mean, there's a, a lot of good stuff, man. I'm going to put the link to, to this article on the description. But, guys, check the description below, man. I have a couple of courses. I have my website. Check me out, codingphase.com. Literally, I got a whole bunch of courses there for, you know, you get an all-access pass, right? You get the all-access pass. You go for the whole month. You get access to every single course. Now, if you're like me and you're, you know, you like to hoard uh, courses on Udemy, I do this all the time. I buy a whole bunch of courses on Udemy whenever they're on special. Check my description below. Also, right under my link to my website, there's a whole bunch of courses on Udemy. Or even if you say, hey, I want to just buy one course from you, Joe. I could buy it from my website. Or you could just say, hey, buy it from my Udemy uh, account. All right? I'll see you guys later. Bye.